Eh guys, so this is the SSI IDIS or IDIS by Zero. It's a dropship which only has 10,000 PCO. So I help Zero with some optimization for the ship before they release the ship. We're just gonna walk around it for now. And before I get into the interior of the ship, I just wanna say that there's no sensible tactical reason to use a dropship on space engineers. There's a better way to drop vehicles or to attack anything on the ground than using a dropship. So the ship is a ship that is made for fun and that is completely fine but still I'm gonna comment on any things that are not optimized and could have been better based on what the ship is supposed to do. So here's the main entrance. The ramp use a hinge and here's the main hanger. There's a very good use of multiple blocks to make this feel like a real hanger or a vehicle port. Uh, there's two ventilators there. I mean fans. I don't think you will ever need two fans like that. That's kind of wasteful. And up there you can see catwalks for you to get up there and maybe look at what's going on downstairs and there's some connectors here as well as some storage shelf so like i said in terms of design it's a really nicely designed ship even though there's some things that are not optimized but it's fine but let's talk about the ship's main function which is transporting vehicle right so these things on the floor here the magnetic plates and the neon stripes down here on the floor I don't think they are a good idea because they really limit what you can put in here for no good reason I think it's better if your smaller vehicles have their own landing gears that would make a lot more sense and would be a lot more space efficient compared to having like these large magnetic plates inside the hangar like this as well as these neon stripes so this is my own small rover it's a very small rover and as you can see here there's barely uh, there's barely any space in this hangar even for a small rover like this so if you put anything that's bigger or chunkier than this rover then those landing gears will certainly become obstructions and these connectors positioning here i'm not sure about this because as you can see there's almost no room here to begin with and it's gonna be hard to connect anything with a connector with these recess connectors so those are my two main complaints about the hangar area all right let's go inside now here's an, a set of double doors for air tightness and there's a couch here and if you go up here there's some beds this is a very good space optimization in my opinion and i have no problem with the layout of this interior i think it's really efficient and compact and if you go up here there's the bridge up there by the way something about this half stairs is that if the ship is tilted even slightly it's gonna be hard for you to walk on it like this but i understand it's like a very tight interior so they have to use these stairs but i think it's worth mentioning that they can be a little bit obstructive and you will have to use jetpack uh, right so here's the bridge Mm, I have no problem with this design. It's very compact. Like there's no unnecessary stuff too much around here. 
so this is good and if we go back there down there there's a pathway to engineering right so here's part of the engineering and you can see those atmospheric thrusters there and some hangar doors which you can close to protect the atmospheric thrusters in space i think that's kind of unnecessary but it's fine and here's some gyros and other things so obviously the ship is not made to be optimized but like i said before it's a ship that is made for fun it has a decent amount of h2 generators that's the thing that i suggested to zero and there's a good amount of hydrogen tanks for the size of the ship it doesn't have any production at all and to me that's the problem i think a ship of this size should have at least small production because it will like increase the functionality of the ship for a very small price all right so i'm gonna fly this ship now but instead of just flying it i will fly it in its intended use which is being an armored vehicle transport so just remember that something like this is not tactically sound at all but we're just gonna do it for fun right all right so there's a crash enemy ship over there and it's being repaired and stuff it's still armed so we will need to go there quickly with our <laughs> with our ground vehicles inside the dropship so we're gonna try to land the dropship and stay there for like as long as we can before we have to get out while giving covering fire to the ground vehicle that we're dropping all right there's no button outside to open the hangar door that's kind of an oversight oh by the way uh the ship is almost unable to fly in gravity even with only two small vehicles in there so it probably needs more thrust because otherwise if you're carrying any larger vehicle it won't be able to fly at all all right here goes so we're approaching the enemy ship and we're shooting at it and it's firing at us uh, this is kind of feeling and we're landing here oh all right we're gonna open the hangar door Alright, so the hangar door is open and let's say they manage to get out in 3 seconds and then we're just gonna get out of here. Oh! Never mind, we already don't have any engine. Uh, Alright, let's try. We're gonna get out and start firing. Alright, so... Obviously, it's not meant to fight something like that, so it's probably gonna be better to use it for a more sensible mission, like dropping it on a lightly armed base or dropping it far away from the enemies. But the thing about dropping things far away from the enemies is that you don't need a transport ship for that to begin with. So even though it's kind of like an overpower example, this is still the kind of scenario that it should be doing so it's certainly a fun ship to use like if you don't care about tactical advantage or anything like that and you just want to like have some fun with your friends like attacking an enemy with a drop ship which is kind of fun if you don't care about being as efficient as possible this is a good ship to have but Otherwise, if you like doing serious PvP, you don't even need any dropship. So yeah, that's the SSI IDIS or IDIS dropship by SSI or Zero. You should be able to find the link in the description below.